Howdy, and welcome to a prototype demo of Dead Terminal by Alex Olenkiewicz. Down the link in the description if you'd like to play. Uh, the game is available for free. Uh, it's just a prototype demo. There isn't a way to uh, f pay for the game, uh, but the developer does have other games on their itch.io page, so I'm sure you could find a way to uh, financially support this developer, whether they want you to or they, they probably appreciate that. And I would also appreciate it if you checked out the GoFundMe link in the description uh, to help out Carrie Means, a voice actor you might know as the voice of Frylock and Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, going through congestive heart failure. It seems like, uh, aside from that, things have been very, very rough uh, for him and his family. So, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate it if, you know, support the developer, uh, support Carrie Means. It'd be really cool, and I would appreciate it. So Dead Terminal is a cyberpunk alternate history ghost hunting game, uh, which sounded very, very interesting to me. Uh, as you can see, it was created in only two weeks for the Dread XP End of Summer Bone Jam, which is just a great name, a bone jam. Um, and I do believe it came in first place uh, for that jam. Uh, the developer was waiting on feedback uh, about whether they were going to, you know, pursue making a full version of the game, uh, which I imagine coming first place in the jam probably cemented that. But you know, let's let's get some feedback in there. Let's let's find out. I want I want a cyberpunk ghost hunt. So let's let's do it. Set in an alternate an alternative history, there is a town located high in the mountains, a small town that at first was somewhat of a time capsule of old tech from the 80s and 90s. Once the boon of technological advances in cybernetics began to upgrade cities and local areas, the town soon begins to form a cancer of the new tech that slowly consumes it. The town even began to explore new possible technologies that other areas were still holding off from publicly allowing. Even despite all these... Um, Excuse me. Despite all these changes, the town still found itself relatively peaceful. This uh, small population tried to enjoy their lives with the new tech until something dire happened. Without warning, the entire town died. Just, just like that. Fucking gone. The, the cause of death uh, remains unknown, but it suggested they were all murdered. With the event that, uh, what, with. With the event, what was once a peaceful settlement became a ghost town exposed to the elements and vandalism. That is, until the citizens made their return in more ways than one. My name is Mur Murphy. It is Murphy, yes. Uh, my name is Murphy, and I've come to this town to investigate just what really happened. And, w uh, and with that mass murder some time ago... To, to investigate just what really happened with that mass murder some time ago... Okay, I, I got slipped up in my brain. I'm hoping the returning citizens of the town will have some evidence that might help me. My first step is uh, my first stop is an apartment building you'll find just as you enter. Hopefully I can meet some people and get some leads. Let's begin the demo. Okay, so we have um leave the apartment. Okay, so we are in an apartment. Um first Oh, it, it, I was about to say like for, you know, we have first person obviously. Um the controls we can move. Left shift is run. Why are you actually hitting shift? Hmm. I'm not noticing a difference in the speed. Um, yeah, maybe shift shift key might not be working because uh, none of the actions with shift seem to be working. Um, oops, I made the controls go away. That's fine. I can kind of actually see them out of the corner of my eye a little bit because um, they're on the, the itch.io page. Uh, we have our identification card. contains our name and occupation. What's this? Okay, so that's... I have an evidence page. There's a, oh, that's just closed game tip. Uh, well, well, whatever, you know, we'll, we'll get the controls. Bone, uh, bionic operated neural entity. Uh, take take part in current, uh, okay, so yeah, it's just an advertisement for um, the neural stuff. You, uh, yeah, let's talk to th this person who lives here, L live, being a, a, you know, let's find out. Uh, when questioning suspects, you will be given the options to show evidence uh, to concentrate their, contradict their answer. Note that most questions won't have a contradiction. Pl uh, press the back button uh, uh, to return to the question list when the questions. Okay, so so we, we just we can present evidence uh, as necessary during conversation. What's that say at the bottom? The EMF meter says it's safe. Oh, electric magnetic field. Yeah, um, we can see our heart rate. And actually, what does that say? Gear disabled. Okay. I should probably sit a little closer to my monitor. Hello, who are you? 
Hey there, my name's Murphy. Oh, we're Murphy though, right? Oh, I see. I thought like they were, we chose the option and then this is what was actually said. It kind of just gave us a gist of what was going to be said, not the full thing. Hey there, my name's Murphy. Are you the landlord? Oh no, I'm not the landlord, I'm James. You can find the landlord just down the hall. What's brought you here anyway? It's only been a few months since those of us who had our brains copied to a, bo a bone activated and returned to town. You must uh, be the first living person to come around here. Okay, so people with cybernetics were able to kind of back up their minds, uh, I guess, into uh, robots whenever they were all murdered. <laughs> I'm here investigating a mass murder, one that killed all the citizens in the town. The apartment is the first place I'm looking into. Mmm. I got scanned about a year before my original died, so I can't tell you much about anything about what happened uh, between my scan and the day he died. I'll be interested in getting some answers. Okay, so, you know, obviously they they copy their brain like their files, so they don't know, know anything that happened afterwards. So even though they are in these new cyber bodies they can't really help us just yet we can show evidence but i mean the only evidence we have is the id card oh am, do i have to do that am i not able to walk away do i need to hit backspace i just leave the dialogue um oh okay so yeah we, we just have to like back out whenever uh a dialogue tree ends what are you doing standing around in the hallway i'm a tenant in one of the second floor apartments but that darn landlord disables the elevator and denied us all access to the second floor worse yet this place is currently uh, undergoing repair so i can't even take the stairs because of this barricade why would the landlord just deny access to the second floor like that doesn't that strand a lot of tenants like yeah you can't just be like no you can't go into this part of the building where you live fuck you rent still do my thoughts exactly but i've got no clue why you have to ask the landlord himself if you wanted an answer okay well uh why are you living here if you don't mind and i'm sorry if this is a bit out of nowhere but if you're a robot then why are you a tenant basic human needs aren't much of a com uh, concern for you anymore surely well before my original died he used to live in this apartment I, I guess even after being turned um even after being turned on, I wanted to hold on to a bit of that lingering human life. Doesn't it feel odd to replace the original person? It felt strange the moment I was turned on. Right after the original died, your mind lacks the memories of what happened after the person had his con consciousness copied. So learning uh what person you So learning what person you could be is a bizarre experience. Uh what what is left of human what is left of humanity in me just wants to forget uh, about that and act like it was just a bad dream and make sense. Thinking about, ah, oh, shit, I got a fucking murdered would uh, kind of blow. Um, I forgot your name. I think it was like Jason or something. Uh, what is that? Can't really. It's just some goop. You know, this is barricaded. There's goop. Uh, so we know we can't get to the second floor. We need to go talk to the, um, the landlord. I... I was just ragging on the landlords and then like completely forgot like what what was was what, what are those bastards called the the people I have to give all my fucking money to um okay so we have some kind of security system here I'm not exactly sure I didn't try like knocking on that door or anything perhaps I should have excuse me my name's Murphy might you uh, be the landlord of this place maybe I am who's asking Oh, that's yes. kept it. Oh, I see. We have to actually show evidence now. Here's my information. As you can see, I'm investigating the mass murder. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Ethan, and I'm certainly the landlord around here. Didn't want to give my info because I'm currently in a bit of trouble. Can never be too, uh, too cautious these days. What's the problem? Trouble? What exactly is the problem? I had someone inspect the vacant rooms upstairs after they didn't come back for a while. I went to check on them, only to find them dead on the floor. Well, as dead as a machine can be anyway. I ended up locking access to the second floor until I figured out what to do about this mess. Any idea what might have happened? I'm really not sure, but I get the feeling it's got some uh, something to do with the weird stuff happening around here. Keep hearing... Uh, I'm just... The 
text scrolling is kind of getting to me. Um, uh, not really sure. Uh, but I get the feeling it's got something to do with the weird stuff happening in town. Keep hearing reports of robots going missing. Some of them found dead. Some people have been mentioning seeing things that could only be described as unnatural. Truth is, this might be related to my investigation of mass murder. If you don't mind, I'd like access to the second floor so I can see what's happening. You sure? It might not be safe up there, though. If I'm being honest, you might just be the help I need. All right. I'll enable <coughs> elevator access to the second floor. Take it, uh... Take a look around, but be careful. Okay, well, I mean, we, we got what we wanted. I really have to ask, what are you doing here? Seems odd being the landlord of a mostly abandoned apartment. Well, for one thing, my original was the landlord of this place before me. But even besides that, those who got a bone are returning to the town, trying to move on from what happened and bring it back to what it once was. Right now, it's just us robots, but sometime in the future, new living, breathing people might come and, uh, come and move in. They'll need a place to stay, right? Certainly true, but it looks like there's a lot of work to be done. Can't say you're wrong there. The front door's broken, so pe currently people need to use the back door to even get in. Even the power's an issue right now. Many of the electronics are hooked up to the special power grid, so they're fine. Uh, but stuff like uh, the lighting fixtures on other floors don't work. Don't work at all. It's not much of an issue uh, for people like me, but well... I hope you have a good light source if you plan to explore the second floor. I hope we have a good light source too, because we don't seem to have like a um, flashlight or whatever. Okay, so I guess this is like a little like front desk, and this would be like the the main entrance. All right, we can interact and get in uh, this elevator. I I have to say the like very very just everything like being gray, um, you know, like everything's like super duper like just monochrome and gray uh it's kind of interesting especially with um you know but whenever you do get pops of color um your emf meter will detect certain phenomena if you're close enough uh press space to record an evp when collected pick the correct words that match up with the audio uh if successful you collect that uh evp as evidence okay so i press space now what do i do Oh uh, yeah, whenever I'm, the closer we get to that robot body, the more that the, the magnet goes up. So maybe we should record it right here. Okay, we can listen to everything. Oh, I, I was like, I heard, the, I, I didn't hear this one, but I, I thought it was like, shit, fuck. Should have, probably I should have that body <laughs> I should have that shoddy validate validation successful all right we got some evidence you know it's a lingering ghost once the body do they want our body? Do they want to, to get back into their robot thing? Uh, robot, uh, the key reader. Hmm. I guess that I wasn't sure why that would work on that, but maybe it's like a, a voice print. It says key card reader, so I'm not sure what the recording will do hmm was there like oh yeah yeah there's a circuit board which perhaps we can then use uh well it's i think we saw a green one downstairs i believe it had like a, a circuit board in there so okay we put that in we're able to continue forward this door not looking so good we don't have a key card though so you know, fuck me. We'll just keep going on. So we're going to be capturing EVPs, which I believe is electronic voice print. That doesn't sound right. Um, but it's just you're recording like, oh, ghost voice. Ooh, that's that's kind of the gist. Wow, this day, this game, this game is very dark. 
Some phenomena emit EMFs that put your heart rate at risk. Get rid of them by holding a right mouse button to ready your gun. Oh, to deal the most damage, use a Q use Q and E to adjust the signal to match the phenomena. Okay, so so we're in danger. So like if we see stuff like this, we blast it. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand how this works now. We want to we want to change to the actual Am I sh shooting the right thing cuz it's I assume I'm shooting the right thing cuz it's giving us signals. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, I think I understand how that works now. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, reminds me a bit of um, Signalis, or Signalis, I think would probably be a better pronunciation. Uh, had a, not a similar, oh, my mouse got weird, and I thought like, oh, am I being attacked by a ghost? No, my mouse was just a bit weird when looking down. Body's strange. We're probably wearing some kind of protective suit. Or maybe we're a robot ourselves. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Signalis had a thing with the... Um, with radio, uh, the battery's dead on this device. Darn. Um, yeah, so it, it's just like, oh, we have to kind of match the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the frequency um, to, to, you know, use our, our gun. Uh, inspection notes. I've been checking out the rooms, and despite being left unattended for a while, everything seems to be in working order. The power system isn't fully back on, of course, but they still got a lot of old furniture being, uh, and they've still got a lot of old furniture being converted. But overall, it's surprisingly functional. I did hear a lot of odd noises, but I couldn't place the exact source. I'm not exactly sure what converted means, but I suppose we'll probably find out. It's an interesting computer uh setup and this is like a useless ass closet there's not even a fucking door on it and then there's not a door on it and the um and it's, it's just it's just small it's just like damn that's not it's not really useful at all oh it says apartment number one this probably isn't one in fact I, if i use my eyes i'd be able to see oh there's two okay so yeah yeah okay the, the run does appear to be a little bit quicker than uh than the walk uh, it's just not noticeably like more so there's definitely something in here and we'll go ahead and record how do we do that in space okay i guess we gotta we gotta be like maxed out before we can get the actual evp recording Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't really sure about what was being said there, so I'm just going to kind of, okay, well, I mean, we got the, we got the evidence, so we should need, we need to be looking out for, uh, good old Susie. Uh-oh. What do I need to blast? What needs blasting? It's probably in the... Oh, shit. There's, like, ghosts and stuff in this game. I don't know why I didn't expect there to be ghosts in this ghost hunting game. Okay, yeah. That, that, was, that was pretty cool. I, I wasn't expecting that, especially since that first one we saw was, like, like a, like a weird door or whatever. So I wasn't exactly sure uh, what we were going to be seeing here, uh, but pretty cool, you know. Like there's gonna be fucking ghosts. We gotta we gotta do some ghost blasting. Um, well, we have that evidence, but I'm not really sure what we should be doing now. Um, Cause it's not like we got any more like we didn't get. Oh shit! Is there a way to close it? I can open this with E, but I have to actually press the thing to close it. So we because we don't. We didn't get anything that would like open anything else up for us unless um no the um the key disappeared after we used it. So I'm not exactly sure. Um Oh, did that no, that's that's one. I was I was starting to wonder like maybe it unlocked two for some reason. I'm not exactly sure. Um but yeah, you know, that's an interesting mechanic having the 
um, the, you know, uh, EMF meter, like, be like, hey, hey, you know, gotta, gotta keep an eye out. There's something here for both, like, oh, we're looking for evidence, and there's just some fucking ghosts we got a blast. Like, you know, I was... <laughs> I saw in the like controls where they were like, "Oh, use your um, your magnet or a what is it? EMP gun, yeah." I had to look at the controls. Remember what that thing's called? Um, like to use the EMP, uh, which you know, I was like, I sh probably should have figured that out whenever I found out that there was like an EMP, you know a gun, but I wasn't expecting to to bl just go around blasting like that. While investigating the second floor, I came across the name Susan. No one who with that name. Oh yeah, Susan. That, oh, excuse me. That was one of the tenants here. She seemed like a solid person. Can't say I knew much uh, uh, about her other than she paid her bills on time. Any idea what happened to her? Well, at first I just assumed that she died, but when I was fixing the place, I <clears throat> I came across this old newspaper that mentioned she went missing sometime between the the mass killings and when the memory got copied to this body. Should we like show them the look for my sister? I guess not. I'll need some batteries for the investigation. Don't suppose you have any. If I recall correctly, I think we're out. I planned to order a fresh supply along with some additional parts for the apartments. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure... If we really, uh... Really learn anything new. Uh, we got the newspaper... Oh, okay, so we have we have newspaper. Can I, like, if I leave that and I go to newspaper, uh, yeah, we can investigate. We can actually read it, I mean. <clears throat> a fellow citizen of the town, Susan, has gone missing this week. I like uh, authorities. Report. I like that it's just like, you know, Susan, we only got one of those here. It's, it's a small town. She was last seen at the local salon and was uh, declared missing several days after uh, missing a meeting with her brother. The brother checked uh, her apartment and found... Uh, that she wasn't there and immediately called the authorities. The police request that if anyone has any news uh, about her whereabouts, they should contact them as soon as possible. I'm not really sure how that helps us. Like, I mean, maybe that means we are able to um, go back to like where we got that recording and maybe like, hey, your sister's missing. That doesn't help. That doesn't really help though. So I'm not exactly sure. We are out of batteries. Leave the apartment. Uh, we probably shouldn't leave the apartment, but I'm not exactly sure what we should be doing now. You got any more information? No one. Uh, I'm currently investigating the second floor. Uh, yeah, Susan. I did know her. She was my neighbor. It was surprising to learn that she didn't have. Uh, she didn't get a bone robot. Not to mention that she went missing before the mass murder. It's honestly devastating. Yeah, we can't show any of that. Any feelings towards Susan? Might it be possible for you to have romantic... <laughs> some romantic... It's just like, hey, you, you know this person? Hey, were you into them? This person who's missing and maybe probably dead? Might it be possible that you have some romantic feelings for Susan? None whatsoever. She was a nice girl for sure, but not really the type I'd date. Oh, yeah? Well, here's evidence. To the contrary, idiot. I'm yeah, just being be a little goof. Um, this might be somewhat out of the blue, but you wouldn't happen to have a battery I can use. I need it for the investigation. Hmm, it is a bit out of the blue. I do seem to recall seeing a spare battery in my apartment by the bedroom. I'll lend you the key so you can pick, uh, pick it up, but don't go looking around too much, okay? I've got my privacy. Okay, well, you know, that, that was helpful. I just had to go back and talk to the only two NPCs that we know that aren't ghost dead, dead ghost. You know, probably could have figured that out. Um, and I'm guessing... We probably aren't going to be leaving the apartment. Um, just just an assumption on my part that, like, um, we're probably going to be... Actually, let me try opening the storage. Can I open the storage with... Okay, no. I wasn't sure if this was, like, you know, public storage and with just a key you can get in or whatever. Um, can I go... Oh, yeah, I can pull my gun whenever I want. That's cool. I can shoot when I want, too. Oh, I see. The, the little thing in the bottom... Um, has like a, a refresh so you gotta like wait for your like gun to like recharge before you can like blast again um that, that makes sense uh uh-oh there's something going on in here right right now we can see it's safe but it's safe but it's not a 
Can I make a recording here? Uh, it's safe, but it's not like, you know. There's a lot of uh, the, the things going off, but we're not in danger. Damn, I don't know why that was so hard to get there. Um, did I say Rax? Please, Rax. Rax, good news. Please. Facts. Facts, wow. I was like, I mean, Facts is the only one that made sense, but it's just like, really? Facts? I, I mean, I guess it's like an alternate history, so maybe in this world, like, oh no, Faxing is still like really fucking, like, that's what we're into. No one wants, no one wants me to give them the the business? What did we need this stuff for? There was like a um like a thing over here that was like had a dead battery um of some sort. We never got it. Oh hey. Get back. Um how do I do this again? I need to oh, I'm going the wrong way. I should probably be a little bit damn it changed this number a lot. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Uh, I'm not very good at that part of, of it. Um, I think probably just because I'm a little trigger happy on that um, and just should probably wait instead of, you know, actually do the, the, the game mechanic instead of just blasting um, of switching the, uh, the frequency. Uh, don't forget that you've got a date with James on Thursday. Be sure to hit the salon a few hours before you've got, you've got to look as good as you can. Uh-oh. James might have told a, a, a big, big old Porky. Did, is that is that what people say? like? Obviously, people don't say that, but I remember. I think I remember reading at one point, like you, you could be like, "Oh, that's a load of Porkies," and it's like lying. I think it's it's probably like a British thing or whatever. Um, and I don't know why I went. It was like, oh, you know, James has been telling t telling tales out of school. Why I was like, you know. I obviously could have just been like, ah, oh, he, he might have lied to us. But then, of course, you know, had to go and, like, immediately conjured, like, the one of the weirder ways I could have said that sentence. Not exactly sure what happened there. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay, so we would we would do this, and now we show the evidence for the date reminder. That's odd. That's odd to me. See, because I was looking at her apartment, and I, uh, and I came across some information that suggests that Susan was preparing for a date with you. Well, I mean, maybe after being copied, my original started getting interested in her? I really don't understand. Susan, she was the kind of girl who liked rich guys, you know? Expensive dates at fancy restaurants, all that. And I'm just not that kind of guy. Uh, I can't see why she would be interested. Mm. Uh, and we, we, we can't, like, press him with more information. So, you know, maybe he didn't fully lie to us. But, you know, maybe, maybe he is. He could be lying, this is what I'm saying, but he might not, you know? Anything could go. Any money problems. Oh is your original doing all right financially, would you say? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't say I was loaded, but I had enough uh, to at least keep the lights on. Maybe I got some big windfall, uh, considering I, I wanted to suddenly start dating Susan. And there's, like... Yeah, there's no nothing we can, like, push back with. So I'm not exactly sure. Money problems... Yeah, I'm not, not exactly sure about that. Maybe at this point we need to go back to the landlord. Uh, you know, just kind of go back and forth between the two people that we can actually talk to um, and see if we can figure anything else out. Nope, you don't have anything for me. Um, what if I bring up, like, Susan? We get to the end. We show evidence. The date reminder. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we should be doing now, then. Because um, we've done everything we can do upstairs he's not giving us any more information it's not like any of our evidence is helping out uh so maybe maybe we do need to leave the apartment i assumed that we wouldn't be able to leave the apartment and be like no that's out of the demo space oh did i i, I think i might have just messed up um 
I decided that then investigating the apartment would be a waste of time. Better spent looking elsewhere for leads. Unfortunately, I had no real clue where to start uh, past that apartment. Hopefully, the next location I can find will point me in that direction. This concludes the, the demo. It was made in just two weeks. Um, we can see everyone uh, who worked on it. I'm not sure if there was more I should have done. Because um, <laughs> it feels like I was just like, maybe I need to go check somewhere else. Uh, we have been going for a half hour, and the the um, thingamajig says that, uh, the itch page says, like, oh, the game's about a half hour long. Uh, so, you know, maybe it was supposed to be like, you know, oh, you kind of hit this, like, dead end with the thing. I kind of... I kind of expected a a bigger um, like end for it. Like perhaps uh, at that point, we w sh I should have gone back to um, Jason's apartment and checked out a little. You know, looked around a little bit more. Uh, and maybe we would have gotten uh, you know new new ghost pop up um, that probably would have been smarter than just being like, oh well, I'll just head out and see see what's up. Um, so, you know, I'll probably, I'm just going to run through this really quickly uh, and get back to that point and just see, you know, if we go upstairs, if we see any more ghost, um, and, you know, maybe, maybe there'll be like a, a more definitive end rather than like, oh yeah, well, but fuck this place. I got to go do more stuff. If there is a full game, you know, I'll, I'll be doing it out there. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I thought, I, uh, well, I, I guess I'll... I'll play through it and then I'll get my thoughts because it's it's not like we're we're like wrapping up right now since I have to go <laughs> do this all again. Oh, hey, okay. I um I did come back upstairs. Uh, I've done basically everything leading up to uh, the point where we were going where I, I left the building uh, in this room. Whenever I got the like thing about the fax, I noticed this that there was actually a fax machine, uh, and I was like running around all the rooms see if I got any new interactions. But we can come to this fax machine. Uh, it looks like it's out of ink. Um, date reminder? I didn't think that would help. Hmm. Maybe now that we have the the knowledge that um that that things out of ink, maybe I can speak with someone about that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and run through this room too. See if like, oh no, there's a new ghosty here. You know, not not really, but okay. May maybe there's. Seems like there's one more piece of information that we have. Uh, maybe that will help uh, conversation move along. Like we can go down and be like, "Hey, you got any? You got any ink? Not that. You, you know, I don't think I've ever sent a fax in my life. I. Oh well, actually, I was, I was gonna say you don't really need ink to fax. Like you know, because you, you put the thing through and it scans and like you know it goes out." But we would need the, the ink for it to actually print out if it got any messages. I came across a fax machine with a message, but it's completely out of ink. Anything you can do to help? I mean, of course. I remember my original would always keep all stocked on stuff like that, like printer ink. Second floor storage room ought to have some. Here's the key. Okay, well, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Just a, one thing that I managed to overlook uh, and get us a little bit more, a little bit more juice out of this game, which I'm, I'm, I'm glad because, like, when I was thinking about, like, my thoughts on this and what I was going to say you know, at the end of this video, I was going to be like, well, it's kind of a shame that the game kind of just ends like that, but um, uh-oh. Uh-oh, is, is, is there spooky in here? Someone want to say something to me? Uh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, the trying to make out the recordings is a little difficult. So most of this time, I've just been kind of going through and like, you know, you'll hear a bit of a word, uh, and then you can just kind of take the like the prompts at the bottom to kind of put it put together what is actually being said there more so than the uh, recording itself, which is you know it's kind of strange. Um, can I crouch? I cannot crouch. Um, is it the rec what was that? Oh, I just got the colored flash of that um in the thingy um kind of the evp mechanic not it, i mean it's interesting um i imagine in you know the, a full version of this game um it might uh 
if even if it's exactly the same as it is this the right oh i went to the wrong one even even if it's um exactly the same as it is i imagine you'd run into parts where you're like using it to solve like puzzles and shit uh which would be cool uh, we'll use the printer and we'll get we'll get our facts hello james we have sent you this uh, document to give you an update on your loan request we have looked into your request for a loan to cover your uh, current due bills while we understand that you are at high risk of debt and eviction we regret to inform you that due to your past credit history we must deny your request okay well james was wondering like did i come into a windfall of money no james didn't oh oh shit that's that you're you're just a robot that got up that's pretty cool um are you gonna like fucking kill me I think this thing's gonna like fucking kill me. I probably should um maybe run away instead of backing up into this corner. No, we can't kill it. We we were able to, to blast it. Um, that's interesting that you know it wasn't just a ghost. Like it was a physical thing that got up. Because uh, when the ghosts are in our presence, we see our heart rate uh, start to like. Well. It's, I would assume your heart rate's, you know, like, oh no, a ghost, it's going up, but like, you know, percentage-wise, it starts going down. I uh, imagine if, you know, it hit zero, you would like die of like fright, essentially. Um, and that's the idea there. Um, whereas if that thing had come, come at us, maybe it would have like actually like just like immediately killed you, or maybe I wasn't paying attention and maybe the heart rate, because the heart rate starts to get yellow and red, which assume, assumedly would be like, oh, you're in danger. And maybe the 100% is like a health. So maybe that robot would have uh, bonked us. We don't really need the printer ink, uh, but I figured we might as well as, uh, you know, use the option there. And we can go to money. We can show evidence, facts, document. Oh, then you say that I... Oh, oh, oh. Uh... Um, okay, yeah, 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 yellow's us. I had to think about that for a second. So, yeah, we, we asked about the financially... Uh, you know, uh, coming into a windfall. On that you say that, I came across a fax uh, from the bank. It says your request for a loan to pay off bills was denied. Okay, okay, you got me. Truth is when I found out uh, found out about an opening to get a bone scan, I took it not knowing just how expensive it'd be. I, I don't remember anything uh, about a loaner. I don't remember requesting a loan or anything but i did come across this letter in my apartment from the landlord it says i'd be evicted if i didn't pay my bill soon the thing is the bone copy hadn't asked me about it yet i can only assume he just doesn't know uh the original the original synthesis i'm just holding out here that he doesn't uh that he doesn't remember until i'm able to actually pay okay so we got information about him not being able to the yeah the, the eviction letter uh dear james this is your landlord ethan i'm sending you this request uh, uh this letter to tell you that uh this is your final warning your rent is due by the end of the month if you uh don't pay by then i'll have no choice but to evict you i suggest that you pay it as soon as you can to avoid any complications so obviously the next thing we can do <laughs> is go like rat this dude out i don't particularly want to do that but i mean i guess we could I don't don't really want to be a narc, but I, I guess we can talk to him about evicting someone. I, ma I must ask, has any ten tenant ever given you a, a trouble enough to evict them? Not at all. I've never needed to evict any tenants. They will always pay their bills with no complaints. Oh, well, don't, I, I don't want to narc on this dude, but I guess we can just see where it gets us. Our canonical end for uh, this was we, we were just like, fuck, man, I don't know what to do. And walked out of this building, uh, never learning of the fax message. Well, according to this, I found that your original did threaten to evict one of your tenants. I see. Well, if my original had to do it, then it probably happened after I was copied, so I can at least say that I never evicted someone myself. You're sure you've never had uh, many issues with tenants before? I can say pretty certainly that I haven't, but I recall that my original would would archive any reports or issues they have uh, with any tenants. You can give them a look around. Where could I find those? Uh, pretty sure I put them in the basement storage room. It's right next to the basement put them in the it's right next to the basement garage uh oh can't forget to uh enable the uh basement access in that case i'll enable that right away take a peek if you think it'll help with your investigation okay so we didn't narc on the we just, we lightly narked on him we didn't like um we okay so we we didn't narc on him in that in such a way that we like 
oh hey that dude over there james he, he fucking you need to kick his ass out but we did like hey um yeah no you, you you've totally had to like try to fix, fix someone dude um so now we're in this garage oh, what is this oh it's just a little laundry room uh oh a little message about the laundry Hmm. Flash human. Ah, uh, yeah, flesh will make me human. So that's what the ghosty the ghosties are like. Oh hey! Gimme give gimme give that flesh. Uh, I, I assume that like after you get a message like that, that's when a ghost pops up like, ooh, you know, give me your give me your meats. I would I'd love to have your meats so we can't get in there because we need a circuit board. Okay, I'm gonna do this nice and professionally, actually using the mechanics. I wonder if it loops back around whenever we get to the bottom. I think the reason it changes colors like that is um, it changes colors like that because it's like, I guess it's like a countdown until the, um, you know, it's, it's about like to switch frequencies, but it also seems to switch frequencies whenever, um, whenever the... Uh, the, the, oh, um, it seems free, it switches frequencies after they get shot. <laughs> that, that's what I'm trying to get to. Uh, the land, the land, <clears throat> the landlord's archives were uh, surprisingly sparse. The most uh, per, uh, pertinent info I could find was that James was late on paying his bills and was served an eviction warning for that. Past that, it's just uh, noise complaints and maintenance requests. So just you know, normal bullshit or whatever. And we can go ahead and get a move on uh, to the boiler. We come in here, use our circuit board to get into the garage. Well, he said a garage, but there's just like a lot of servers and shit. Kind of interesting. Or maybe they're not servers, but like they look like they look like servers. But I mean, this place just has like weird ass tech, you know, future cybernetic shit. Um, so, you know, maybe it's just, oh, you would understand if you were a real cyber head. James. Yeah, this is kind of more of what I expected that we, like, because when I forgot that first ending, I was like, mm, it just kind of pe pe peter petered off, petered off, like it just kind of end, ended. Um, I expected to, to get, um, you know, a resolution to this, this James story. James. So we can assume that James, you know, uh, through, uh, through her, and you know, J James murdered her. You know, that, that's, that's kind of what I was expecting it, it to, to go more that way. Um, is she gone? Yeah, I guess she's gone. Um, like, yeah, you know, I was expecting like a, a resolution to, you know, the, the plot line that we have been going through instead of it just kind of ending. Um, but I guess we're going to find out what's going to happen now because this James you know, didn't know about it. How is James going to feel when we walk out like, hey, dude, your original fucking iced Susan. You don't have any, you don't have any feelings about that? Uh, we have a recording from the garage. I'm not sure if there's anything. If we go to Susan, can we show evidence to be like, no, nah. okay. Well, I guess we'll just go talk to the guy who's probably not going to be very happy when we go over there like, hey, um, Pretty sure you murdered Susan. Yeah. This guy does look pissed off. What happened to Susan? Did you have anything to do with Susan's disappearance? What? Me? I'm certain my original had nothing to do with that. They were dating. Hmm? Right. Then what do you think about this recording? You can clearly hear Susan asking your original not to do something to her. Pretty incriminating, especially because it was like in front of a trash can that definitely looked like it had blood in it. That's hardly decisive evidence. That could mean anything. I don't know a thing about it. I also like the... I'm not sure if I just haven't been noticing the, the mouth movements, but it seemed like the mouth movements were more extreme. Are you really sure about that? I wouldn't say it's a good idea to keep lying to me. All right, all right, fine. Look, before my updated brain scan, I remember when I was dealing with a lack of money. I was approached by someone. They told me if uh, they needed a body, one to be used in an experiment, and that they'd pay... Uh, 
me a massive sum. I couldn't believe it. It seemed too good to be true, so I hesitated. But if this is to be believed, then I guess my original made up his mind. Do you have, do you have any idea what the experimentation was? I don't know, honestly. I don't know, honestly. At the time, I didn't really care, but I'm starting to feel like this might be related to the mass murder that happened. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it involved. Who was the person who approached you? I don't know. It was weird. Uh, anytime I try to remember their face or name, it just, just isn't there. Like, there are parts that were deleted from my memory. I can say that uh, at least that I can, I can say at least that I met them at 02 Pathos Street. Thanks for the information. I'll look into that. But now there's the matter of what to do about you. M me? Murphy, please. My original did something bad, sure, but I'm just a copy. I wasn't the one who did it. Do you really think I should suffer the consequences for the, the crimes of my original? I've gotten the information I need. I, I believe it's time for me to take my leave. No more questions. Oh, I can. Bl I could totally blast him if I wanted to. Sh I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna. I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, let's see. So it's turned red. Oh, you know, it's probably. I thought it was like a countdown, but maybe when it's red, it's like, oh, you're in like a good range to to do it. Yep. Just <laughs> justice is served. Hey, Ethan. You, you won't you won't won't believe this Jason guy. Oh, he hasn't. He, he, no, he he doesn't have anything to say. He's just like, oh, you fucking heard the just down the hall. This dude's just head get blown off. Um, and leave the apartment. That's kind of more what I was expecting for uh, the end uh, of this game. And so my my time in the apartment has presented me uh, with my first lead to hopefully solve the mass murder and the crazy events uh, happening around here. I wasn't expecting to come face to face with uh, whose original might have played a small part of all of this. I had I had to make a, a tough choice on what to do with the copy, but it's been made. All I can do now is head to my next destination and uh, try and solve the mystery. Okay, so yeah, I was kind of expecting more of a <laughs> resolution to that plot line. Um, and uh, I, I, like, I like that they gave us the option to just blow that dude's fucking head off. Um, the combat I find very interesting in this game. Um, you know, the fun little, um, you know, frequency adjusting. I think I think it's a cool idea, even if I wasn't doing such a good job um, the, the first uh, run through. Um, I think it's an interesting mechanic. I would be interested to see how this game, um, you know, works as a whole you know instead of you know this is just a demo so it's very like oh you you know just walk around the rooms you get a, a you do a evp a ghost appears you blast them um you know like a full game like maybe like multiple enemies at once um uh, I, w I would say more varieties of enemy but i mean even in this demo alone even though um uh you know susan's ghost was similar to uh you know, the normal ghost that we were seeing. It had a different design. Uh, probably took more shots. I wasn't counting or anything. Uh, but we also saw, you know, the robot that attacked us. And we had the option to just execute a dude um, because his, his original did a murder. And, you know, we had to think about, you know, oh, d does that mean that, you know, they did it? That means they could do it. Should they suffer for the crimes? I don't know. That's a lot of thought. We'll just blast them and <laughs> worry about the uh, the, you know, whether that's correct or not, it's not not my problem. I blew the dude's head off. Uh, so yeah, it was a very cool one. I'd be interested to see, uh, you know, this become a a full game.